to the monitor to see if it was going to be a flagrant one. Anthony Edwards is an absolute beast. Fine, but... Edwards is made out of an elaborate concoction of size, to see speed, and athleticism. And the scariest thing about this kid is that he's still a work in progress. In this video, we're going to dissect this rookie's entire offensive Edwards arsenal down to its core and analyze some of the facets defending. of his game that Edwards ultimately made him a truly unstoppable player. player. But before we start, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to stay to the end to see our predictions. To say Anthony Edwards is a good player is simply an understatement. He was a five-star recruit who played for the Georgia Bulldogs, averaging 19.1 points, 5.2 rebounds, 2.8 assists, and 1.3 steals in his lone collegiate season. By the standards of your typical 19-year-old hoop prospect, you can say that he's an absolute unit. Imagine if we actually had March Madness last year. If you're going to sum up his game at first look, Edwards has the athleticism and shiftiness of a young D. Wade, has the major hops of Donovan Mitchell, and the overall playing style that highly resembles Victor Oladipo. Basically, if these three NBA players had a love child, it's almost certain that Anthony Edwards would be their offspring. From a physical standpoint, Edwards' body was already NBA ready before he even declared for the draft. He's a 6 foot 5, 225 pound combo guard with broad shoulders and has a natural frame fit for an NFL linebacker. For someone who plays one of the backcourt positions, the extra pounds of muscle emphasizes his strength even more. He can bully ball much smaller players and absorb contact when attacking the rim plainly because of his sturdy, rock like physique. Edwards is also a tough cover for the opposing guards because containing someone with that kind of a hefty frame presents major problems in the defensive end. The Anthony Blazers back up 20. Edwards. This also explains why he has a high rebounding rate despite playing several feet away from the rim. With his unique combination of size and power, Edwards can impose his will easily on any given night. And when he gets his juices flowing, stopping him is just as hard as stopping any top caliber scorer in the league. While still playing for Georgia, his main point of attack has always been the open court as 21% of his offense are mostly generated from transition. Despite attempting to use two or three guys to thwart his fast breaks, Edwards can simply bypass his defenders merely using his natural athletic ability. Known to be a score first shoot guard, it doesn't mean that Edwards isn't willing to give up a good shot for a better one as he's also capable of finding the open man or trailer during transition whenever the opportunity presents itself. Speed is also another attribute that tends to be overlooked in Edwards' game. Though he doesn't carry the same level of speed as Westbrook or John Wall, what I like about Edwards is his timing when using his boosters. In the half-court set, where the offensive pace tends to be slower than usual, Edwards is a methodical assassin that knows how to break down his opponents. He'll do a variety of hesitation dribbles first and tries to catch you off guard using some hard jab steps. Once your feet leave the floor, he'll use his speed to blow by and before you even know it, he's already inside the lane preparing to put someone on the poster with a one-handed hammer. Closing out on him can be tricky too, as he can run past someone in just the blink of an eye. His underrated explosiveness also puts a lot of defenders on notice, because they're having a hard time predicting what his next move would be. When he's not taking care of ball handling duties, Edwards remains active by reading the defense and eventually moves quickly for a backdoor cut, setting up screens to free his teammates. Now that we've analyzed his genetic gifts, let's now shift our attention and break down his offensive game. Ever since his name came up in the NBA draft stock, Edwards' calling card has always been his scoring ability. The 19-year-old has a very polished offensive game despite his young age, and from the looks of it, he's doing it from a very relaxed and stress-free disposition. To put it simply, he's a smooth operator that lets the game come to him instead of the other way around. Just like other premier guards in the NBA, Edwards is very much adept in using a plethora of dribbling moves to create the necessary separation for his shot attempt, and on top of that list is his step back. Edwards regularly utilizes a James Harden-esque step back that allows him to showcase his incredible balance and footwork. 
He's also pretty much comfortable in putting off his step back whenever he goes either left or right, making him an extremely challenging matchup for the elite defensive guards in the lead. Apart from the lethal step back, Edwards also uses a series of crossover dribbles followed by a pull-up jumper as one of his go-to moves. Edwards utilizes the same type of violent crossovers that Donovan Mitchell or Victor Oladipo use before jacking up a mid-range pull-up J or a long-range three. He'd often start this type of offensive sequence by mix-matching different combo dribbles to get himself into a rhythm. Once he does, he'll bait his opponents with head and shoulder movements to influence them to move in a certain direction. And when they make a misstep, that's the time that Edwards creates the separation for an uncontested jumper. Elite NBA guards like Harden, Oladipo and Donovan Mitchell have been doing this type of move for years already. <laughs> and seeing Edwards doing this high level stuff at his age just really speaks about his dedication to his craft by putting the work in night in and night out. By the time he gets to the peak of his shot, Edwards' entire shot mechanic presents a sturdy form which is cultivated with a relaxed shooting stroke. It's not awkward when you look at it, unlike other shaky shooters, and the entire thing, from the execution of dribble moves up to the release, unfolds smoothly, all in one fluid motion. When it comes to slashing and attacking the rim, Edwards has the bulk to withstand the harm that he's about to face, going up against shot blockers and all sorts of opposition. He can also weave and thread in the lane with his impressive footwork, and is also crafty as he can use both of his hands in finishing around the rim. As a highly skilled shot creator, he also has a high tendency in taking tough shots, which is a common habit for a volume shooter like Edwards. During pick and roll scenarios, you can sag off a bit and let him shoot his threes as he's not there yet in terms of both efficiency and consistency. However, his mid-range game has always been right on the money, so you better put your hands up when guarding him somewhere around the 15-foot mark. Though he's always looking for his shot on most occasions, his facilitating skill will only develop further as he gets to play tougher competition as a member of the Minnesota Timberwolves. With all that being said, and I know I might get hate for this, but I believe Anthony Edwards will win Rookie of the Year. Yes, even over LaMelo Ball. Do you agree with me on this take? Do you think Anthony Edwards will become the Rookie of the Year this season? Let me know your thoughts on this one through your comments below. Until the next episode.